almost like being in a zen-like state and you kind of have to do that in the sport. Table tennis is a sport where you can't really use your conscious mind to play. You can do it a little bit, but there's some parts, you know, that uh, you practice. You know, you're really winning and losing matches in your practice. Ping pong, a sport normally thought of as one you play with your friends, maybe on a nice day outside, but for Saul Leibovitz, it's something that has created a whole new outlook on life. A native of Queens, New York, in his early life, Leibovitz found himself facing an incredible challenge. In that time, I ended up living in the street. I'm gonna say I was probably 14 at that at that time. The longest I spent probably without really having a place was probably about three and a half years, I would say. Day to day, Leibovitz also experiences benign bone tumors known as osteochondroma. Because I can't turn my hand, when I hold my paddle I have to move my fingers and change the grip all the time. I have to take my fingers, turn the racket, and then push the ball down. But as Tall explains, it does not keep him from playing at the most elite levels of the sport. The able-bodied players, to me, um, feel a little bit easier because they're, they're very aggressive and they use a lot of power, so I play well against that style. Um, the ones, uh, so it's a little bit harder with the power players, although the smart able-bodied players are probably more difficult to beat as well. Um, table tennis is all tactics and mental. Notwithstanding all the obstacles, Leibovitz says that one of the most impactful experiences he's had is playing at the Maccabi Games. 1997 was my first Maccabi Games, and uh, I was born in Israel. Uh, my parents uh, came here when I was uh, probably two or three years old. But one, obviously, we're doing an interview about the Maccabi Games. Um, and you'd expect somebody to say, yeah, Israel is the best place that I've ever been to, but it actually is. Tall is excited to continue embracing his love and passion for Israel as he looks for a silver and gold on his next trip to the Maccabiah.